Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and share it amongst your family and friends. And if you want to, go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you already guessed from the title and the thumbnail of this video, we are going to be doing a rapid fire review of the actual Anastasia new product that she has out. This is the new Dip Brow Gel that is supposed to be an all-in-one encompassing for your actual eyebrows. Now, I did use it, but can you tell which brow we use with the actual product? If you're ready, let's go ahead and get into this review and let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. So we're going to do a rapid review of the new product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Dip Brow Gel and this is what the product actually looks like. So here's the product. And I went ahead and got mine in the shade Granite. So this product is supposed to help make your bra process quick and easy and a little bit more manageable for on the go but yet still giving you brows that last all day so what they're saying is you're able to use this one product versus using all of the normal brow products you would actually use with your actual brows so we're gonna go ahead and test this theory out this is my good brow this is my yes sir no ma'am please thank you yes of course polite southern veil brow this is the f brow the f bomb brow this is the f you f this f that suck this kiss that this is my problem brow this is the brow that makes my eyebrow routine so long because this one goes on perfectly and it's good and this one just it's a whole lot of <sighs> just changing and adjusting brows to make sure they match up to they're not going to be twins but you want them to be close cousins instead of distant retarded relatives but we're going to go ahead and do this brow first for you guys with the actual product and we're going to see how it goes in they say we're supposed to be able to just use like a regular brow tool to actually go in and outline and do different things with this actual product and this is just a eyebrow spoolie and eyebrow part this brush is from elf so let's go ahead and go in and try it It's not a lot of product on the actual brush itself, so that's a good thing. So it doesn't go in and get too strong too fast. So that's pretty good. I definitely like that. And as you can tell, it's already darkening up my brow, so I like that as well. And it's buildable. So if you have those beautiful, thick James Charles eyebrows, this may be a perfect product for you. Um, I will tell you, you do need some type of eyebrows for this actual work. So if you don't have that many eyebrows, and it makes them super long too, like, whoa, what's going on there? <laughs> but if you don't have a lot of brow hairs, to, brow hairs to begin with, then I could definitely see this being problematic for you. And I will say that this brush goes in and coats every last one of the actual hairs. So it makes it super easy to go ahead and find those hairs that you may not have known that you had. It brings them all to life. So I definitely like that. Now, that's it filled in. Now we'll go ahead and take some product from the actual spoolie itself on the tip of our brush and we'll go in and just do an outline with it. And I'm doing this real time 
So this way you guys will see exactly how long it takes to do an eyebrow. This is also the reason why you see most YouTubers don't actually do their eyebrows on camera because of the amount of time it takes to do brows. And of course you guys already know that because you guys do your brows at home as well. I see it already being a little splotchy. You see how I was dragging across my skin there? See the little empty spot right there in the front? That's what I'm trying to fill in with just the product. I will tell you it's already setting the hairs in place so they're not moving or going anywhere so that is going to be my first brow done let's go ahead and clean up around it a little bit and the product does walk away pretty easy I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but we're about to find out but that is the first brow done and this is what it looks like with no product so that's just done just using this so we're gonna go ahead and go in and do it my traditional way with my actual products that I normally typically use, which is my Tanya Crooks, the brow gal, the powders that I always use, my ColourPop pencil, and this one is in Jet Set Black, and of course, my Alpha Eyebrow Gel. So let's go ahead and do that on my troublesome brow. I'm just taking and wiping off the additional product from that actual part, the brush, wiping it off so I can go in with my brow powders. And now we're gonna go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. gel. And either side, either the brow side or the mascara side, doesn't matter. For me, it really is the same product. Now, while we're letting that brow gel dry down, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Golden Honey and my Tarte Flat Eyeshadow Brush. And I go in and I put some on the back of my hand. And I work from the back of my hand with cleaning them out. With cleaning them up. And I'm just using my Morphe E45 to go in and blend around those brows. So that way when the NYX concealer sets, it doesn't set into place and leave a weird line of demarcation on my eyeshadow or on my forehead when I go in and do my foundation. And the final thing I'm doing, I'm using my Flower Beauty Translucent Matte Setting Powder. I always go over my face so we're gonna go ahead and just do this for the brows. To go ahead and make sure they're set into place. And then the final thing I'll do, I'll go through and make sure the gel isn't so hard set and just brush through them. And there are the brows. This one is the Anastasia brow. And you can tell like right in here, I would probably fill it in with a little bit more powder um, it doesn't look that harsh in person, but with the light shining, it does actually show. So if you're doing flash photography or anything like that, 
you always want to fill in your brows with powder because although you can't visibly see it when the light hits your face or your brows it'll show off the patchiness of the product in your actual brows so that's the Anastasia brow and that's the traditional brow done with my ColourPop products I would say it's a uh, it's pretty good I don't have any complaints about it I will say the Anastasia brow is a whole lot harder and crunchier I'm not a fan of that feeling but it really doesn't bother me because how often am I touching my eyebrows how often is somebody coming going oh my god your brows no they never do so I would say it's a go um, this does replace all of your actual products so if you already have eyebrow hairs, then yes, this is a great product for you. If you are like me and you have some eyebrow hairs, then yes, this is great. This will work for you. But if you don't have any eyebrow hairs, I really can't see how this would actually work for you. It does take a little bit more finessing for this to actually work. And I would still go on top of that and fill that in with a little bit of powder. But the, for the most part, this is a go it's something you could definitely do without you having to go in and do a pomade go in and do a pencil go in and do a powder and then set it all down with the gel instead of doing all of those steps you saw how i just went ahead and brushed it in and applied it and that is the brow we got in you can't be mad or upset about that brow now i wonder can you take yourself swimming on the first day that's the question this is what the product actually looks like so it's gonna come in a little silver, I'm sorry, a gold and black tube. It's gonna look just like this. And the brush that comes out of the product looks like this. So it's a nice small brush to actually go in and do your eyebrows with. Now, the thing about this product, the one thing that I will go ahead and say is, this product is pretty phenomenal. As you already heard and saw in the video, so I'm not gonna be trying to be too repetitive with it, but this product is great if you already have eyebrow hairs. If you have at least a decent amount of hair like me, or if you got those beautiful, fabulous James Charles eyebrows, then this is gonna be a beautiful product for you to actually be able to use. But like I did say, you definitely wanna go back in and use a little bit of eyebrow powder within your actual brow so that way you don't have those bald spots and different things in your brows. As you can tell, I did have to go in and fix that with my actual brows. So that is one thing that I will say is a downside from this product. But again, aside from you having to use all of these various products to do just one brow, you are able to actually go ahead and get away with just using one product to do your complete brow. So for me, this is a win. For me, this is a go. I am not returning this to Ulta. I am going to keep this product. So hopefully you guys enjoy this rapid review style videos that I'm going to start putting out on my channel. So we can just go ahead and look at one product together. Go ahead and review it pretty quickly and be like, hey, do I want to get it or not get it at Gaze? Or guys... Save your money. This, 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 this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And as always, you know, I don't care when you watch me, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, evening, or late at night. I'm just happy that you decided to come back and spend some time with your girl. And I have been gone for a week only because I got sick. And it was just the nasal sinus sickness that just completely destroyed any ideas I might have had of trying to do any makeup review hauls or anything because I'm having to blow my nose every five minutes. Thank you guys so much for being patient as I was getting everything ready for you guys to actually come back. But I want you to have a beautiful day. And as always, thank you so much, YouTube. And until next time, bye.